food review. So, good afternoon. Actually, no, I could say good evening again. Uh, 6, 6 15-ish p.m. And uh, here we are, Taco Bell it is. And I got plenty of requests to actually review this item. And it's brand new, it was released yesterday. So, you know, I'm fairly early to the party. It's the Crunchy Cheesy Core Burrito. That's what it is. It comes in crunchy or spicy. Um, and it's a cheesy core burrito. It's supposed to be like a, a burrito that, you know, instead of having the, the cheese like wrapped around the outside, the beef is and rice is wrapped on the outside, and it's just a core of molten cheesy goodness inside there, you know? It's not even like, they don't even call it a cheesy center. It's a cheesy core, you know? It's like the core of the earth, you know? It's just molten. Uh, if you eat it, it'll just kill you, you know? It's just molten cheese. Um, I was just being overly dramatic there. It won't actually... Well, that's de actually debatable in terms of it killing you in terms of Taco Bell. But, uh, anyways, here are my little notes because there's a lot on it. So that's, that's my handwriting there. Um, all right, the Cheesy Core Burrito. It's a burrito uh, filled with seasoned beef, Latin rice, and red sauce. Uh, so, you know, it's a sauce and it's red, you know. I guess that's the simplest way to say it. That's how they describe it. Um, reduced fat sour cream, and then in terms of cheese, it has a three cheese blend, but they don't even mention what type of cheese is there. It's just a three cheese blend. Um, also includes nacho cheese sauce and uh, corn tortilla chips, and uh, this can be available to you. You can you can get this yourself for just $1.99. All right, got some napkins here, and here it is. In a black, in an elegant black wrapper, says uh, Cheesy Core. You can see it there, kind of, maybe it was reflecting, but Cheesy Core Burritos. Even though it's just one burrito, they gotta say burritos, because it's, you know, it's Cheesy Core Burritos. Um, so here it is, it's a nice, uh, nice fat, plump looking burrito. Uh, we cannot gaze into the, the core just yet, but soon you will be able to. So who knows what lies in this thing, um, and what we are to expect, but uh, it should be cheesy as they describe it. So it's the Cheesy Core Burrito, and that's kind of nice. They gave us a little bullseye for all the, the excrements to drip on there. Um, all right, we'll just get to eating, because I know everyone wants to see. Going in, Cheesy Core Burrito from Taco Bell. Gonna have the sun shine on my face, but deal with it. I don't know, does this, does this look cheesy to you so far? You can, you can see it, you know? Not, not really. We're gonna bite in some more though. There really isn't even a core to this, I mean... You know, you see it for yourself. You're, there's not even a definitive core like the picture shows you. Two more bites. You can kind of see there's a little bit of a core there, um, right there in the center, um, but it's it's really just mashed up. Um, if I were given this, right, and someone said, tell me what's special about this, I would not be able to say off the bat, oh, there's a cheesy core there, you know? There is no definitive boundary of where the cheesy core begins 
and where it ends. It's it's think of it this way: you're biting in, and it's it, it is cheesy. Um, you bite in, and it's just a cheesy burrito. It's not like you're gonna be biting in. There's gonna be these layers that you're just delving down into, and you're gonna be saying, "Oh, I'm at the beef now. I'm at the rice now." There's that cheesy core. That's not gonna happen. Um, you're just gonna bite in, and it's just gonna be a mess of everything. Um, so that is an issue that, you know, I think it's one of those ideas that they said, well, looks good on paper, we dressed it up nice, made it look good, and, uh, take the picture of it, but in reality, when you just have some, you know, some high school guy making it in the back, um, that's not an artisan, uh, I myself, I wouldn't be able to do this either, so I'm not even bashing anyone specifically, but... You know, it's not going to come out picture perfect. It's just going to, everything's going to blend together. Um, now, anyways, into what it actually tastes like. You bite in, and what you're really going to notice is a, a cheesy flavor, but not as it'll, it's going to portray it in the pictures that you're going to get molten cheese just dripping all over your face and all over your suit. And then some people, it seems like they like the cheese so much, they'll just squeeze it on their hand and rub it on their face like an ointment or something. Um, and that's how some people act, like with Taco Bell's cheese, at least. Um, but that's not going to happen, and it may disappoint you, but when you bite in, the cheese in the core itself is almost going to have more of a solid consistency than actually liquid. Okay? It's going to taste, really, like someone just, you know, took some, took like a cheese stick, like, you know, some of that string cheese you just peel off and, you know, you have when you're on the go. It's like someone plopped that in a burrito, put some beef around it, <laughs> bon appetit. You know, that's what it really tastes like. Um, so imagine that exact taste and that exact consistency when you are getting this. It's At least for me, it was not like liquid cheese in the core there. Um, it's more solid in that regard, okay? Kind of like with a stuffed crust pizza, you know? The cheese in the crust is not liquid. It's more of like a solid in there. Um, but you're still able to get some of that cheesy flavor. Now, otherwise, for the other flavors, the seasoned beef, you were able to taste a little bit of everything kind of blends in together. Um, the rice, you're able to taste a little bit of a, like a, you know, an herbal seasoning on that. The beef, you're able to taste a little bit of a saltiness. Uh, the red sauce gives a tiny bit of like a, a chili spiciness to it, but it's not incredibly noticeable on this one. Um, the tortilla chips do give a little bit of a, a, a crunch, but it's not the most flavorful thing in the world. And uh, then, of course, there's the cheese, which it does have a, a cheesy flavor. Um, more on the milder side, it's not overpowering like they imply it to be. Um, the nacho cheese, it's there, but it doesn't really make too strong of an appearance. But overall, when you bite into this, there's going to be two things you'll be wondering. Number one, wow, this, this wasn't as the picture portrays it. And two, this wasn't as flavorful as I expected it to be. Um, I, I, I'm driving this point home here, you see all the cheese there, you see everything wrapped around, you expect this to just be like a flavor explosion in your mouth, and that's uh, not that. Um, everything kind of just mixes together into one flavor with, you know, a little spiciness here, a little saltiness here, a little bit of cheesiness here, but it's not saying, oh, you know, this is, this is just the richest thing I've ever had. Um, I don't think anyone will ever say that in regards to something from Taco Bell, though, but... Taco Bell isn't bad, honestly. I I got this, and then I got myself a meal, too. I got myself the triple-double Crunchwrap box, so, you know, I, I'm actually having my dinner from here. And some Baja Blast, too, one of my new favorite drinks. But anyways, so, that's that. Not the worst thing I've ever eaten. Um, not the best, either. But, you know, it's just, uh... You just got to realize it is lacking in some some areas. Um, now, price-wise, this product is uh, oh, it's about just two dollars for it, and you know you are at least getting a you know a, a plump burrito. You know you are getting at least something in there, so it will kind of fill you up. But uh, please just remember, it's not going to be the most flavorful thing in the world. I recommend you'll probably enjoy it if you like cheese, but it's just not going to be as cheesy as they they say it will be. Um, so just really keep that in mind here. All right. All right, that said, ladies and gentlemen, out of 10, what am I going to be rating the uh, crunchy, cheesy core burrito from Taco Bell? Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, it tastes okay. But the problem with it is that it's just not that flavorful. And 
everything just blends together so you know there are some issues there so I'm just gonna have to give this a 6.5 out of 10 because it's edible it's enjoyable but it's just not what they said it is um, and really they could really be uh, you know amplify some of that cheese flavor and uh, maybe actually take away some of the ingredients in this thing uh, because right now it's just such a, a mishmash um, you know such a menagerie of, of different ingredients everywhere and it's just uh, you know it's just everything blends together into just one one thing so you just really need to you know I think that could that, that could be improved you know even just take away the tortilla chips or uh, take away the sour cream which you couldn't even taste and uh, and then maybe there might be able to be an emphasis on some of the flavors more directly. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for you. I'm your host, Support of the Week, and this is Running an Empty Food Review. Today's review is for Taco Bell, the Cheesy Core Burrito. Take care.